Hey guys, welcome to the start of a new, new project. Um, I have this table here that I just got um, done building and I'm going to be building a CNC machine. Um, it's actually known as the mostly printed CNC machine. It can CNC, um, yeah, do CNC work, router, um, wood, aluminum, plastics. You can put a laser on it and do engraving and such. And you can also put a um, 3D print head on it and do 3D printing with it. So I'll probably be mostly be using it as a CNC machine and a printer. So I'm kind of trying to get the best of both worlds here. Um, but I've got a bunch of parts here. In this box here, we have all the 3D printed parts. Um, I actually didn't um, 3D print these myself. I actually ordered these. Um, just to save time and costs, um, but they're very nice looking parts. I got it from the uh, designer of this awesome machine, and so he bought those. Some more of them. The rest are in gray. Sent them in black and gray, which is a really awesome color, by the way. And it looks like he uses hatch box filament, which is um, good to know because I'll probably give a roll of this a try in the future. In this other box, we have all the electronics. Also, it's, a, it's an electronics kit sold by him. We got the power supply. Um, I bought. I bought the. This doesn't come in a kit, but he sells it on his website. It's the. It's the uh, full LCD display for the motherboard, so you don't have to. You can use the SD card to print uh, or run off of, or you can use a computer. You can also like, jog the axes and change temperatures just via the screen instead of the computer. Um, in this box we have um, two extra step stepper drivers because I'm going to be adding probably a dual extrusion so I need two uh, stepper drivers to drive the extruders. Um, some extension wires for the steppers. Um, USB cord. G uh, like a couple meters of GT2 belt. And then of course the motherboard and the Arduino, which in this case is the Ramps 1.4 board. Uh, it does come on a genuine Arduino, unlike some of the cheaper versions. So it is a, it's going to be good quality electronics. It does use the original Arduino. You also get this piece of threaded rod with this coupling nut on the end. Uh, I think it's a little bit longer than what you need, but it does send extra, and you just cut it down to whatever you need. Um, and this over here, we have all the nuts and bolts um, that you will need for this build, unless you're doing something special. But yeah, it's every nut and bolt you need. You also send some zip ties and a little Velcro strap for the power supply wires. And then, what else we got? We've got a bunch of bearings. These are what the run on the rails. It's pretty much, is, instead of using linear bearings, you use radial bearings, and you use just three of them for each roller. So you get a whole bunch of these, and I think there's three more in that bag I showed you. And then we get five stepper motors. These are NEMA 17 stepper motors. They're very high. They're not very high, but they are higher than normal torque. They're like 76 ounces instead of the standard uh, like 46 or 50, um, 50 ounce steppers. So it is. It's uh, definitely a decent motor. And. That's pretty much it for the supplies. <clears throat> I do have my conduit back here. I got the rest of the pieces back here. Um, I've cut this all already and then just beveled the corners so no sharp, sharp edges that the, the wires, because um, I do believe the wires run through some of them, some of the conduit, so I didn't want any of the wires getting cut and they shorted out, so I beveled them and rounded them off with the Dremel. So that's basically all the supplies I have. Um, we're gonna start building the frame of the printer um, whenever I get a chance, but I just thought I'd make this video of the new project and show you what all I have.